All right, this next one is, it's really cool. I think you'll get a kick out of this. So uh, I have an object here and I'm gonna go into polyframe mode so we can see the polygon density. And basically what I mean by that is just the little squares that make up this object. So if I go in here to geometry, Dynamesh, of course you know the basics of Dynamesh by now. You know, you pick a resolution, uh, you hit Dynamesh and it Dynameshes at that resolution. However, what you can do now is you're gonna see we have a resolution slider and a new picker slider. Uh, this will work for either one. So if you grab from the resolution slider and just pull off and then go over here, it'll say pick. And you're gonna see that resolution is gonna be updating. So where the geometry is more dense, it's in the 480, 496 range. And then where it's less dense, it's in the 224, uh, 232 range. So if I go down here and select this resolution and then just hit that Dynamesh button, it's gonna Dynamesh the entire object at that resolution. Now, that was from a previously sub-D mesh, uh, so you know the resolution was a little bit less uniform than say this Dynamesh resolution, which is pretty uniform. So uh, let's play with this a little bit. So I'm gonna hold down uh, Shift, so I go to my smooth brush, I'm gonna drop my Z intensity down to zero, and I'm gonna turn on Sculptors Pro. So if I make my brush size really big, I can tap S on my keyboard and make my brush size really big or go up here to my draw size and crank that up. Hold down Shift, I'm gonna smooth an area up here and I'm gonna change the density of this area and then I'm gonna tap S, make my draw size really small and then again, hold down Shift to smooth and I'm gonna change the density of this area. So now if I zoom in, you're gonna see we have very dense polygons, medium dense and very low density polygons here. So I can, again, I can drag from the resolution slider or I can use the picker if you wanna move this in your interface somewhere and just have a little picker button, that's totally fine. So this time we'll use our picker button, we'll click and drag off there. And you're gonna see this density is in the 180s to 2000s, this density is in the 144s to 152s, and this density is, you know, 450 to 480. So if I pick this one over here and control drag to re-dynamesh, it dynameshes at that resolution. I can hit control Z to undo. This time I'll pull from the resolution slider to our medium density here, control drag, dynameshes at that resolution, control Z to undo. We'll go from the picker this time to the high density here, control drag. Now the entire thing's gonna dynamesh at that higher density uh, resolution. So long story short, uh, you can use the resolution slider or the picker to just drag off and choose what density of geometry you want to uh, have. Uh, and it'll work, like I said, you know, on a sub-D mesh as well. If we go down here to dynamic and we uh, turn dynamic off, this is very low res. So if I go through here and drag the resolution slider in, it's, you know, resolution of 48. If I turn dynamic back on, it's still going to pick a resolution of 48 because this is just a preview resolution. However, if you apply that resolution and then drag off, now you have real geometry. Now the resolution it'll pick, you know, is in the 400 range. So something to keep in mind if you're using dynamic uh, subdivs, you know, it needs to be real geometry, not just a preview geometry. Uh, and just to show you what I mean, I can turn dynamic on and off. Uh, D and shift D turns that on and off. So just make sure it's real geometry and then it'll choose uh, the proper resolution.